last but not least, my beautiful Pisces. All right, it's Bonnie here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. I love you. Okay, so, whew. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I ran down the hallway. <laughs> I had to take a little break because I just read for Capricorn and Aquarius. So, this is going to be a general reading. So, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. It is always timeless. Um, I always just put a date so people know when it's uploaded, okay? Um, however, I will try to focus on the energy of like end of December, beginning of January. But whenever you find this reading, it's for you. Like, there are no accidents. Not in this universe, okay? Okay. All right, so like I said, this is going to be a general reading. This is not a love reading, okay? I put up a voting poll on my community post, okay? So for those of you that don't check my community, you need to start doing that because everyone voted, right? Hands down, the votes came in. Everyone wants general reads. Nobody wants to focus on love right now. So I will not do any love reads for from now on until further notice, so I might put up another poll next month so you guys can vote for love reads if you want. Um, or I might just keep it like it, it is. I don't know. I, I like reading just normal reads. Um, I like love reads too. So, you know, I don't know. I guess it just depends on, on what I feel like doing, right? Um, however, next in line for the voting was the Twin Flame Energy Updates. That was second place. So I will be doing those. Um, the Twin Flame energy updates for the masculine and the feminine. I will still continue to do those. So no worries. And you know, whatever other videos I feel guided to do, I'll probably still do the sexual energy reads. Those are fun. Um, I'll continue to do the bonus love reads. If I do like the re the, the way to earn the bonus love reads is to watch the shorts that I make. And you know, if your sign wins the most views, then I, I usually will give bonus love reads. And I still have bonus love reads for <clears throat> coming up for three signs. Leo was one of them, Gemini, and I can't remember the last one. I think it was Sagittarius. But so yeah, you guys have owned bonus reads, earned a bonus read. So I will still I'm still gonna do those, plus another twin flame energy update um before you know the end of the month. And yeah, whatever other readings I feel guided to do. All right. I just did an all signs read, so if you want to check different content out, go ahead and check that out. All right, let's dive right in. All right, I've been starting out with the Dragon Tarot, so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to Aquarius's guides. And now I'm going to connect to Pisces guides. For the Pisces that watch me, I'm going to connect to your spirit guides and your ancestors and your star family. And your guardian angels. What does Pisces need to know? Thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for source messages. Let's do it to it, Pisces. All right, Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? First off, can I just say your guys' energy feels great? And look, <laughs> the Empress. Beautiful. Oof. We got a lot of good things coming in. Look at that. A lot of abundance, a lot of feeling sexy, <laughs> a lot of like passion. I don't know where that passion is going to go right now. Let's let's <laughs> pull some more cards, but that's always a good thing when the Empress comes up, right? Ooh, Ace of Wands. Ooh, ooh, wait. <laughs> Pisces, for some of you, this could be a new relationship. Um, I feel a lot of sassy, sexy seduction energy. And with the Ace of Wands, this is, you know, the, <laughs> um, the, the, the big wand energy, if you know what I mean. We got volcano, an eruption of sexual energy. <laughs> Ace of Wands usually represents a new passionate relationship, but I don't know. It came out with the Empress. So yes, it very well could be a new relationship. Let's see what the aligning cards say about this. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is not going to be a love read. I'm not going to read about love. Boom, love comes out. I <laughs> know that happens. It's so funny. I mean, it really is, but we'll see. Oh, my God. <laughs> of course, I spoke too soon. I'm going to take it all back. <laughs> it is an offer of love. Look at that. Okay, so what do you have coming in December, early January? Love. 
a lot of sex. We got Page of Cups. This is an offer of love, right? Someone who's staring at that cup of love and boom, they're like surprised by what they feel. They didn't know it was there, but it was there. Snuck up on them. Snuck up on them. Page of Cups is... It's a love offer, right? I mean, it could possibly be about you loving something. You know, like loving your new job or whatever. But I don't think so. <laughs> With the Page of Wands and the Empress. And we can see. I don't know. Ooh, look at that. Boom. It comes in unexpected. It hits you like a wrecking ball. <laughs> It's so funny. Oh my god. It hits you like a wrecking ball. Oh, I love it. It's going to hit you so fast. It's going to be like, you're not going to know what hits you, right? Crazy. Page of Pentacles. This person possibly could have been watching you for a while learning about you i love how i say i'm not going to read about love and then boom the universe goes yes you are see this is what i mean when you try to change your path and the universe will course correct you and say no you are a love reader this is what we ordained you to be bitch <laughs> although some of the signs did have other stuff not love like you know aquarius is reading didn't have all love like Aquarius is basically going to be rich. Okay. <laughs> they have love coming in too, but... And, and Capricorns read. They they had a lot of money, right? Let's see. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles for Pisces, please. Four of Wands. Okay, what else do we have? Two cards came out. All right, so we have Four of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Hermit. Pisces. So you have been doing a lot of inner work, a lot of spiritual work, right? You may have been spending a lot of time alone and you're not going to be alone for long. <laughs> like I said, you have a new relationship coming in, okay? This person sees you as very passionate. I know you're a, a water sign, but they see you as someone who has like fire sign traits, someone who's very passionate. They might admire, no, they do admire your spirits so they watch you they might watch your social media and they they see that you're a very passionate person and you're passionate about what you do and it lights a fire in them okay and I feel like since you spent so much time alone working on yourself and working on your you know inner spiritual self that when this comes in, it's going to come as quite a shock. Like that shows me with the tower that you're not expecting it, right? But they are coming with a really stable offer. We have four of wands. So if this person, I was going to say if this person is not coming in with, um, okay, let me rephrase this. If you're not creating this for yourself, right? Stability, financial stability, um, emotional stability. So this would be like, you know, you buying a house, you having assets, you know, buying a car, um, having a, a stable job or a stable source of income, right? It's creating stability for yourself. If you're not creating this for yourself, um, this person is wants to offer a stable commitment to you, if that makes sense, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm going to pull another card about this four of wands. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm fighting off a little bit of a cold. So, that's where all the <laughs> yuckies is coming in. Let me see. 
tell me a little bit more about these four of wands, please. What do, what do we know about this four of wands, please? Okay, so I asked about the four of wands and they gave me the king of swords. So this, it's possible that someone who was in this like king of swords energy, Pisces, like you may have felt like they were very detached from you, right? They didn't really show you a lot of emotions. I feel like both of you might have been in this energy at one time, but especially um, this, the, you know, they're showing up as a masculine energy. They may have not given you anything at all. And so you really were confused about how they feel about you. But there's some, some form of communication where, you know, that comes in and they're in a whole new mindset now. Now it's like they want to offer you something stable, a commitment. crazy look yep see there's the moon oh my god with the chariot on the bottom look at that an ace of cups shut the fuck up two of swords oh my god magician all of these oh my god i can't okay look feelings being hidden right deep secrets the chariot trying to control their emotions ace of cups deep love Two of Swords, Deep Affection, Boom, The Magician, Trying to Manifest You. Shut up. You cannot make it up. I'm done. I didn't think I was reading for love today, but yours is about love, Pisces. Fuck it. There's no, there's no going around that. Who's in the bathroom? Oh, is your dad home, guys? Okay. One second. Okay, sorry about that, Pisces. All right, we're going to pull the Power of Love activation card for you. Um, I always um, include one of these, or I have for this month. So um, they don't have anything to do with love. I mean, they can, but it has to do with love in general, not like romantic love. This is like um, lessons that are being activated within you. Okay, so... They're just called the power of love cards. Sometimes they do have messages for romance, but it's not a love deck, okay? Pisces. Then I'm going to go back to the tarot portion and we'll do career section and be done. Acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people. And lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. <laughs> so this is about relinquishing control, Pisces. This is about allowing, right? <laughs> this is about surrendering. Surrendering the need to control the situation, control the outcome, control people. Just allowing stuff to flow which ironically i feel like you should do that anyways because you're a pisces right you guys are water signs you should be able to flow easily right <laughs> uh, but doing that is what's bringing in all of this good stuff for you which you know for you your good stuff coming in is love right all right <clears throat> let's go ahead and go into the uh, the other tarot portion <laughs> Can we get something else, universe, besides love, or are we just going to stick with love today? I don't know. Let's see. Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? Whoa, this is my favorite deck because it's so little. It fits perfectly in my hands. I have such small hands, Pisces. <laughs> I really do. So, like, this deck fits perfectly in my hands. Look at that. That's so perfect. All right. All right. <laughs> what else do we have for Pisces? 
That's so funny. They're just so focused on love today for you guys. One card flew out. Is that, oh, Eight of Wands. Okay. So something coming in, in divine timing, very quickly. Wow, what do we have coming in, Spirit? Mm. The clock. My eyes keep being drawn to the clock. It's like divine timing. What do we got, Spirit? Hmm? What's coming in? Oh my God, you can't make it up. I'm fucking done. What's coming in, Spirit? What's coming in? And that card flies out. I just... I swear to God, this is what I'm going to do, Pisces. I'm going to get a little horn. And when spirit confirms what I know, I'm going to toot my own horn. I'm going to get it. I'm going to go toot, toot. <laughs> because I am so good at what I do. It's ridiculous. I'm I'm totally worth the high prices that I post for my, for my reads. Seriously. Like, don't doubt me. Because look, there it is. I literally was saying love's coming in we literally got page of cups this is the second time we've got page of cups the page of cups came out in the first dragon tarot did it not did it not let me see let me just i swear to god it fucking came out in this reading didn't it where is it <laughs> where is it i know it did i know it did didn't it boom right there Right there. Look, let's do a recap. The moon, two of swords, the chariot, the ace of cups, the magician, the tower. Remember? The page of cups. The ace of wands. The empress. Page of pentacles. Oh my God. See? 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 I know what I'm talking about. And this is why I'm allowed to charge $213 for my readings. <laughs> That's only for my lives. My other ones, my other ones are like 130. So, <laughs> but this is why, this is why I'm allowed to charge so much Pisces because I know what the hell I'm talking about. I have been reading tarot since I was 15. I know what I'm worth, you guys. You don't believe me. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. This is goddamn exciting. It's so exciting. What else do we have? I was so annoyed because I'm like, can we talk about something else besides love and spirits? Like, hell no. Look, Page of Pentacles is coming out again. This could possibly be someone younger than you or someone who's just watched you for a really long time. I feel like this person could, they might not be as awakened as you, if that makes sense. <coughs> I just heard fucking shit. You cannot make it up. I just heard that, you know, you have helped them in their awakening journey. Look at this. The tower again. Okay. So this feels like a twin flame connection. I'm just going to say it. Anytime the tower comes up, it's like the hit you like a wrecking ball moment. The hit you like a wrecking ball kind of love. It's, it feels very twin flamey. The tower card comes out a lot for twin flame connections because boom, when that energy hits, it's like both parties don't expect it. It's so, so, so dramatic when it hits. It's like nobody expects it, right? Look at that. So you guys are no longer living in the past or you're not. You're moving forward. This is a new journey for you. This is a new step, a new path. All right, let's get two more cards. Here. I'm going to wrap this up and go on to the career portion, please. Queen of Wands. Look, you have a lot of repeating energy, Pisces. Look at that. It's your passion. It's your fire that they like. But you know what? I feel like you're on fire yourself, right? I feel like you're doing all sorts of new adventures right now, Pisces. Like with this, look at this. You're taking on a lot of new things right now. A lot of new things which have, which are, are lighting up your soul. Okay. All right. 
Let's get one more and then we're moving on. Please, Spirit. What else? What's the final message you have for Pisces, please? Final message for Pisces. Justice. So, it's about getting what you deserve, right? It's about getting what you deserve. What do you feel like you deserve? Right? Things are evening out in your life in a beautiful way. Some of you, if you have some kind of legal issue going on, it's going to go well. It's going to go in your favor. You know, some of you might be going through a divorce. It's going to go well. Okay? The court's going to find you in favor. For some of you, this is about knowing what you what you deserve in love. It's about knowing your worth. Incredible, beautiful energy. Okay, so let's go on to the career portion and then we're going to wrap this reading up. If something resonated, please hit the like button. Share with all your cool Pisces friends. <laughs> Subscribe. It's completely free, right? All of my information's in the description box if you want to book a reading with me, okay? Um, you just got to hit the Goldie appointment fix. There is plenty of ways to support me. Um, I have an Etsy shop. I just added new things. I have two tip jars and I also have a Patreon. It's like $5 a month, so it's not going to break your pockets, Pisces. And it's a way for you to support my channel monthly so I can continue to bring you guys awesome content. All right, so let's pull the cards for those who... Work for themselves, the boss bitch entrepreneur Pisces. What what? <laughs> My throat is so sore right now <laughs> from <coughs> fighting off this cold. But you know what? It's I'm still staying high vibrational. Look at this. Even when I'm sick, block out distractions, Pisces. For those of you that work for yourself, it's time to get focused. Focused. All right, now those that work a nine to five or work for someone else. Ah! Successful funding. All right. All right, what, what's up? What we got? Let's read it. Let's see what it says. Okay, so this is for the Pisces entrepreneurs, the ones that work for themselves, block out distractions. It says... Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. Didn't I just say something about your life purpose too? Yes. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off your electronics. <laughs> oh, good luck. And avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are. Oh, man. And you have the power to responsibly black them out. All right, Pisces. So Spirit is saying enough with the bullcrap. It's time for you to focus. Okay? Focus, focus, focus. Focus on what you want because it's coming in, baby. 2024 is your freaking year, Pisces. Focus on what you want, baby. You got this. My beautiful, beautiful Pisces, you got this. I swear you guys work so hard. I am so proud of you. Okay, let's see what's going on for those of you who work a, um, a nine to five or work for someone else, okay? Let's see, it says, successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Oh, that is phenomenal, isn't it? Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. So God's not going to give you an idea that you can't follow through with, Pisces. Remember that. Follow source God, okay? All right, crowdfunding, partnerships, and other investments are available to help you. 
Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so if you have a divinely guided idea or divinely guided path that you're on, you know, God put you in this job for a reason. There is no accident. You're there because you have a purpose there right now. Trust the process, Pisces, okay? You have, you know, partnerships there in your workplace that you're meant to have, okay? And any investments that you feel guided to, do that. <laughs> throw throw your foot in it, okay? Like, like Burger King foot lettuce. Throw your foot in it, Pisces, because it's going to do well for you, okay? Trust your journey. I love you, Pisces. <laughs> Bye.